Sarah Cavanaugh. We've covered her before. Sarah Cavanaugh, you may remember her as the fake Marine who, who claimed that she had won the Purple Heart in her duties as a Marine, claimed she suffered from PTSD as a Marine, claimed she had cancer, but none of those things were true. In reality, Sarah Cavanaugh worked for the VA for a period of time as a civilian, as many people who work for the VA are civilians. Not all of them are former military. Many of them are civilians. No problem being a civilian working for the VA. That itself is very legal. What she did as a result of that position, less legal. She took service members DD-214s, their discharge documents, and she used them to fabricate her own. And she used the supporting documentation that was submitted by real Marines in real applications for real care. And she used them to fabricate her own. One of the reasons her fabrication was particularly successful because she knows what the real thing is supposed to look like because one of her roles was to process the real thing. So she knows what the real DD-214 looks like. She knows what the real supporting documentation looks like. So she was able to pull off a fairly, a fairly convincing con. As a result of that, she also notably defrauded a whole bunch of non-for-profit groups for veterans out of money for cancer therapy and other things because, you know, she was a disabled veteran, except, you know, not. So she has been sentenced as a result of this to federal prison for falsification of military service false use of military medals, identity theft, and fraudulently collecting more than a quarter million dollars in veteran benefits and charitable contributions. The Rhode Island woman who never served in the military but perpetrated in massive fraud by falsely masquerading as a per Purple Heart and Bronze Star de de decorated United States Marine who claimed to have been wounded by an IED in Iraq and developed service-related cancer was sentenced to six years in prison. None of those things are true. Not so much with the Purple Heart or Bronze Star or IED or Iraq or service-related cancer, or really cancer of any description, of any kind. Sarah Cavanaugh, whose nearly daily criminal conduct over a period of five years, is described as among the more reprehensible scene from a fraud defendant defrauded veterans' organizations, veterans' charities, friends, and co-workers. In just that insult to injury thing, she apparently conned her own co-workers into signing off on them giving them, giving her, pay time off. Because one of the things that you can do if you're, if you're sick is you can ask, at least in the federal government, is you can ask your co-workers to donate their pay time off right? So that you can have more paid time off and people will do that. They will, you know, donate their own paid time off to code workers because, you know, they're nice and they want to help. And she conned her own coworkers. And apparently that also wasn't enough. Incidentally, apparently the conning the coworkers wasn't enough because apparently she also just forged signatures on the, re on the required forms. So some of it was people being nice and some of it was her just fraud. I guess it all was fraud, but some of it was more fraud. She did some bad things. She previously admitted to a federal judge that while employed as a civilian with the Department of Veteran Affairs in Rhode Island, a role which was supposed to help and support military veterans, she used her role by misappropriating veteran identities, combat experiences, donate diagnosis, diagnoses of illnesses, and valor to enrich herself to the tune of a quarter million dollars. Sarah Kavanaugh's conduct in the course of the scheme is nothing short of appalling. By brazenly laying claim to honor, service, and sacrifice, defendant preyed on charity and decency of others for her own financial gain. I'm grateful that she's been brought to justice. Today's sentencing sends a strong message to those who would represent themselves as something they're not in order to profit from kindness and respect. The Office of the Inspector General thanks the United States Attorney's Office and law enforcement for their efforts. 
Ms. Kavanaugh deserves to be fully held accountable for falsely claiming to be a wounded Marine as part of this scheme to collect more than $250,000 in benefits. Sarah Kavanaugh feigned having cancer and falsely claimed valor where there was none to gain hundreds of thousands of dollars in benefits. She falsely purported to be a combat injured veteran, which allowed her to gain introduction to and acceptance of friends, charities, businesses, and organizations she exploited. Nine different veterans charities contributed to funds to, to provide retreats, in-home care, gym membership, physical therapy, paying electrical bills, and donated gift cards to obtain groceries. She also falsified documentation to fraudulently obtain paid leave from two federal benefit programs based on cancer claims. That would be the, she forged the signature on the form. Some people actually did donate to her, but that wasn't enough. Some of it she just stole. She also used her tale to gain roles within the veterans community, including commander of VFW post, gave public speeches while dressed in full uniform, complete with purple heart and bronze star, secured a spot in an arts program for uh, wounded warriors, and landed to the court, she fault the army veteran faulted Kavanaugh for taking a spot in the program from another veteran. She pled guilty to wire fraud, aggravated identity theft, forged military discharge certificates, fraudulent use of military medals, sentenced to 70 months in federal prison, to be followed by three years of release, and ordered to pay $284,000 in restitution. The court also is, issued an order to reinstate 261 hours of federal employee paid leave to the employees who were cheated out of the leave. So those employees will get their leave back. So that's nice. And all that stuff. So yeah, just not a really good person all around. And she, she stole a lot of money from a lot of people and she got what she would, she deserves. I will, I will take a personal note here to note that I was watching, um, a YouTube channel and let me find out which channel it was. Angry Cops is a YouTube channel. I saw it on. Um, I will, I will take note of a, uh, difference I have with angry cops on telling of this story. Um, angry cops made some remarks against the defense attorney in this case, because he's like, well, while I recognize that you, everyone has a right to defense, they should look at their client and be like, you did a bad. Yeah. That's not really how it works. I, 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 I take, I take a bit of umbrage with that. The defense attorney did what the defense attorney is supposed to do in this case. The defense attorney apparently, among other things, tried to claim that there was some history of abuse. And if that's true, then, you know, and that might've led her to do something. And that maybe is a factor in mitigation, which maybe it should be. I don't know. I mean, obviously something went wrong in this woman's life, presumably to do these kinds of things. Right. I mean, that doesn't mean that she's not responsible, but it might mitigate her responsibility in some ways. So maybe, maybe that's a relevant consideration. And even if you conclude in the end, it's not a relevant consideration. Like her defense attorney didn't do anything wrong. A defense attorney did his job or her job as the case may be, because I don't know the, the gender of the defense attorney, but I, I did take a bit of un umbrage on angry cops on this one. Cause like, you can't, you can't be like, well, defense attorneys are supposed to defend their clients and then also castigate this particular defense attorney because you don't like their client. That's not really fair. I am going to take the presumption the defense attorney acted within the course of ethics and zealously represented their client to the best of their ability and trying to find any avenue that would attack the state's evidence and or mitigate the responsibility for that. The degree to which they were successful or not in their arguments doesn't mean that they didn't do a good job. So I took some umbrage at that. But that note being said, I am very happy in the overall outcome because this woman did many, many bad things and she deserves everything she got. She apparently sold her house for about $85,000. And I, as I understand that money's already gone to repaying the veterans organization. So at least some of the damage has been undone. So, and she's been convicted of a felony and ordered not to do her job as mental health care anymore. So there's been some justice 